I'll open the door. You threatening him? Alan! Hello there, Ethan here, and welcome to Laser Tag Massacre Demo, which is a game I found on Itch.io uh, about some a group of teens who throw a party at an arcade, I think it is. And obviously things are going to go wrong, because it's, it's a horror game. But what those things are, I do not know. I assume this man's going to probably come after us with his little little sword that looks like a lollipop. But apart from that, I don't know. So let's get into it and find out together. This game contains violent and disturbing content not recommended for individuals sensitive to graphic violence and loud sounds. I love a bit of graphic violence, but loud sounds are scary. very 80s. Vibe is over. Camp Campinas. Campinas? 1988. This is unbelievable. What is? We've got four hours until the party and we're still far away. We can't waste a single minute. Ah, stop complaining. You guys are the ones who left everything for the last minute. That does sound like me. Guys, relax. Ticket sales were a hit. We're about to throw the best Halloween party this town has ever seen. We'll go down, grab the drinks, and head out to the arcade. Easy. Someone explain to me again. How did you all think throwing a hallo throwing a party in a completely abandoned place was a good idea? Right, you're the nerd of the group, are you, Alan? No offence to nerds out there, I'm a nerd myself. Shut up, four eyes. Ah, oh, such a classic insult that is. Take it easy, bae. Why do you say that so slow? Give him a break, Paolo. My brother just came because I insisted, right? So he's the nerdy brother that no one actually wants there. Classic 80s. He's going to be the one that survives. That's my guess. Focus, everyone. If we get organised, each of us does, does our part and we'll set everything up in no time. It'll be a breeze. Exactly. Positive vibes. Positive vibes, everyone. We're going to pack the old place and make this night unforgettable. So who am I actually playing as? Phew. I'm relieved. I needed to stretch my legs. Why do you talk so slow, Daniela? I will fill the tank while you buy the beers and my cigarettes. Oh, you're cool. At this time, don't buy that horrible mint-flavoured cigarettes. Stop being so dramatic. Man. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. These convenience stores always have weirdos at the checkout. I need to pee. Alright, Alan. Chill out, man. Surely you know you're being weird. Just announce I need to pee, then run off holding your bladder. Alright, I'll buy the beers. No problem. Relax. Leave it to me, Clara. So I'm Lucas. Take cigarettes to the counter, take a pack of beer to the counter. Do you think it was a good idea to bring Alan? He can be a bit weird, but I don't think he'll ruin the party. Leave Alan alone, man. I know I'm giving him a hard time, but... It's not that, I just worry about bringing him into such a chaotic environment. Yeah? I think it's the first time I've ever set foot in a party with booze. Don't worry so much, Clara. He's not a kid anymore. I think you're right. 
I mean, he doesn't look like a kid. Shall we talk to everyone? What are you saying, Daniela? After Paolo heard people say the menthol cigarettes are 30% more addictive, he's been stuck on it ever since. People believe any nonsense I hear. I'm so far away from you, but I'm still talking to you. That's me in the background. You believe any nonsense they hear out there? Yeah, I guess they do. What you got to say, Paolo? You seem like the wanker of the group. What are you waiting for, airhead? Yeah, you're the wanker of the group. Take a breath, champ. You're way too stressed out. You can bet I'm going to have plenty of time to chill tonight. Speaking of which... Do you think some hot witches are going to show up at the party? <laughs> Yo, dude, your girl is right here next to you. So what, did I commit a crime or something? Yeah, you got the haircut to match your personality. Okay, so I can pick things up. Can I grab a chicken? No. Can I throw a ball at a chicken? Jesus. Okay, I guess I can. Sorry, chicken. Alan. Are you done wee-wing? Right, take a pack of beer. So we're throwing a full party at an abandoned arcade and we're taking one pack of beer. That doesn't seem like a lot. I would like your finest packet of beer, please. Where do you keep your packets of beer? I enjoy the term packet of beer because it sounds ridiculous. I don't, I don't know what 8-bit beer looks like. That's whiskey. That's a beer. Excuse me. Good afternoon. Where are the beer packs? That's what I was asking. In that fridge over there in the corner. Okay, fair enough. I missed that. Thanks. Are you lying to me? Ah. One packet of beer. And then uh, a cigarette's behind you. Where are cigarettes? So, sorry, pal, I just wanted to see what had happened. Um, surely you don't just keep cigarettes on the shelf out here. Did they do that in the 80s? I don't know. I wasn't born and I've only ever known cigarettes be behind the counter. Maybe I'll ask them again. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Okay, I guess we're going down there. That's all alcohol. That's water. That's toilet paper. That's cooking oil. That's a label maker. Cornstarch, canned beans, chocolate, canned peas, butter, canned tomato, grape juice, milk. Menthol cigarettes, but he doesn't want menthol cigarettes. He wants regular cigarettes. Good evening. That's all. Good evening. Yeah, that's all. What a disturbing face. Yeah. I'll give you that. Oh, that crackhead robbed a tyre shop around here some time ago. Since then, the police have put up these posters. They say he's still on the loose. Observing. I don't like that. Especially at night. You guys better stay. Alert. Chico, I don't like your vibe, sir. Of course. I'll keep an eye out. Do you need a bag? No need. Here is the money. Thank you. Take care. Cheers, Chico. You're absolute gem. Let's put this in the car. What do I do with this? Oh God! Let's go. It's time. Hold on. Alan's not here yet. Have you seen him, Lucas? 
Uh, didn't see him. I'll give you one minute to find that nerd, or we'll go without him. Paolo, will you chill out? He's just having a piss. Well, with the amount of time he's taken, maybe it's been a poo, but still. Alan, are you there? I'll open the door. Are you threatening him? Alan! You daydreaming, buddy? Alan, you can't pop your head around the corner and scare someone and then just be like, you daydreaming. I'm going to teach you to be a social man. Where have you been, idiot? <laughs> Everyone's waiting for you. Leave Alan alone. Justice for Alan. The smell in the bathroom was so bad I had to find a bush to pee. Right. Right. Let's hurry before it gets dark. Come on, Alan. Jesus. Get you some social skills. Come on. Chop chop. It doesn't seem like I can get in the car. Where are you? The, the door's this side. Why are you walking all the way around? What are you doing, Alan? What are you waiting for? Get in the car already. Alan! My God! Can you walk any slower? Bloody hell. <laughs> Excuse me again. Okay, we finally made it to the arcade. It's already dark. Stella, Stella Arcade, Paradise. You think there'll still be any machines working in there? Man, I miss playing Street Fighter on those things. Mortal Kombat is better. Paolo, can you just chill out? You don't need a, the opposite opinion on everything. Just so you know, Stella Arcade Paradise shut down after the fire in the laser tag arena that led to the deaths of two kids. We're literally breaking into the most morbid place possible. Cheers, Alan. Really, really keeping those spirits high. As long as the kids' bodies don't get up and call the cops and shut down our party, I'm good. Haha. <laughs> what an idiot. God. <laughs> Ugh, what a lame joke. Congrats, Paolo. You're officially the first dumb psychopath in the history of humanity. Yes, Alan. Give it to him. And you're still a virgin. <laughs> Okay, I can't stand you two fighting like little kids anymore. Alright everyone, let's chill out. We're about to throw the best Halloween party this town's ever seen. Lucas seems like the one with the most level head, so I'm glad we're playing as him. Alan, don't worry, it's actually because of the creepy history this place has that we sold all the tickets. People love a good horror story. And another thing, this place is in the middle of nowhere, so no one's going to bother us. Or be able to help when we get murdered. The worst that could happen is... Laser Tag Massacre. You've really drawn me in there, and now and now I'm I'm slightly annoyed because I forgot this was a demo, and I enjoyed the story and the characters and the gameplay, and you've pulled me right in, and now you're not going to let me play anymore, and I think that's really rude. I didn't even get to see the inside of the arcade. Yes, I'm looking forward to what comes next. Yes, I really enjoyed playing it, but I'm still annoyed at you for <laughs> making me. Get so into a demo and then cut it off. As I said, really enjoy playing. The, the, the characters, very 80s, um, got invested in them quite quickly, especially Alan, the poor lad. Really looking forward to the full game. I enjoyed playing it and I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, feel free to leave it a like, maybe even subscribe. It's completely up to you. And as always, I will see you later.